To get started, I will make a slip knot. Make 120 chains. I have my 120 chains. Now what you're going to do next is slip stitch into the very first chain to form a ring. So slip stitch right here. There you go. To start off round one, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then place one double crochet in that same chain. So the same chain that you had slip stitched, you are going to place one double crochet. After that, chain three. One, two, three. And then skip three chains. One, two, three. Place one double crochet in the next chain. Chain three. Skip three chains, one, two, three, and place one double crochet in the next chain. Again, chain three, one, two, three. Skip three chains, one, two, three. Place one double crochet in the next chain. There we go. You are going to repeat chain three, skip three, one double crochet in the next chain continue that all the way across until you have eight double crochet stitches so this is one two three continue until you have eight i have one two three four five six seven eight eight double crochet stitches i have not included this one okay this is an increase and this is our first increase so next up, we are going to make a second increase. To do that, chain three. One, two, three. Skip three chains. One, two, three. And place one double crochet in the next chain. Again, chain three. One, two, three. Place one double crochet in that same chain. There you go. We have made our second increase. Now, chain three. Skip three chains. One, two, three. Place one double crochet in the next chain. Chain three. Skip three chains, place one double crochet in the next chain. Repeat that across until you have five double crochet stitches. So far we have one, two, not including this increase over here. So we are going to continue the pattern until we have five double crochet stitches, okay? All right, my loves, I have one, two, three, four, five five double crochet stitches i forgot to mention just so that you do not miss your increases after making an increase place a stitch marker okay so i'm gonna place a stitch marker in this second increase i'll just leave the first increase so that's my stitch marker now we have two increases one and two next up we are going to make a third increase so chain three skip three chains one two three place one double crochet in the next chain chain three place another double crochet in that same chain so now we have our third increase place a stitch marker in that increase after that chain three skip three chains one 
two, three. Place one double crochet in the next chain. Chain three. Skip three chains. One, two, three. Place one double crochet in the next chain. Repeat chain three, skip three chains, double crochet in the next stitch across until you have eight double crochet stitches. So after the increase, you have one, two, continue until you have eight. Okay, I have worked my eight double crochet stitches. This is the third increase and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Next up, we are going to make our last increase. So chain three and skip three chains. One, two, three. Place one double crochet in the fourth chain. Chain three. Place another double crochet in the same chain. So that is our fourth and last increase. Place a stitch marker here. And now we are just going to repeat chain three, one, two, three, skip three chains and place one double crochet in the next chain. Again, chain three. Skip three chains, one, two, three, double crochet in the next chain repeat chain three skip three double crochet in the next chain all the way across until you have three chains left i have worked my um double crochet stitches you should have one two three four five and then you should have three chains left so now you are just going to chain three and make and make a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain six so one two three make a slip stitch right there there we go row one or should i say round one is done so at this point we have we should have four increases this is one this is two this is three and this is the last one so these increases will help us demarcate our work into front back and two arm holes okay so now to start round two you're going to slip stitch in this first space here and then chain six one two three four five six Place a double crochet in that same space. After that, chain three. One, two, three. Place one double crochet in this chain three space right after the first increase. So right here, place one double crochet. And then chain three. One, two, three. Place one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then chain three, one, two, three. Place one double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat chain three, double crochet in the next stitch, chain three, double crochet in the next stitch, all the way across until you get to the last stitch before your next increase okay all right my loves here we are now what you're going to do next is chain three and place one double crochet in the space just before the increase so right here place one double crochet then chain three and we are going to place another increase in this um, space of the previous increase. So let's call this a V-stitch. A V-stitch is double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the same space, okay? So chain three and place a V-stitch in the previous space right here. So double crochet, 
chain three and double crochet all in that same space there you go and then replace the stitch marker in the new V stitch I'm going to put the stitch marker right here then chain three place a double crochet in the space just after the V stitch double crochet right here then chain three place one double crochet in the next stitch right here place one double crochet chain three place one double crochet in the next stitch repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to this last stitch before the V stitch okay here we are next up we are going to chain three place one double crochet in the space just before the stitch marker right here place one double crochet and then chain three place a, a V stitch in this space right here so if this stitch is double crochet double crochet chain three and double crochet all in that same space there you go and remember to replace your stitch marker then chain three Place one double crochet in the space after the, the increase, okay? Right here. Place one double crochet. And then chain three. Place one double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. One double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch, chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to the last stitch before the next stitch marker. All right, my loves, here we are. Now we've gotten to the last stitch before the, the increase. So you're going to chain three. Place one double crochet in the space, chain three, place a V stitch in the previous um, increase, okay? Right here where the stitch marker is, place one double crochet, chain three, and one double crochet. There we go then chain three place one double crochet in the next space right here chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to your last stitch here we are now we have just one space left so we are going to chain three and place a double crochet in that last space then chain three and slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain six one two three place a slip stitch right in that third chain so round two is done for round two what we did is place double crochet stitches after every increase okay so this is the first increase right 
or sorry this is the first increase which is a v-stitch we chain three and we double crochet in the first space just after the increase and then we work double crochet stitches in all the stitches then when we get to the next increase which is here we place another double crochet in the space just before the increase and also in the space just after the increase and then we continue with double crochet stitches on top of the stitches okay so what we are doing basically is we are increasing the stitches in order to expand our work so that when we get to the point where we have to um, divide the work into front and back and armhole it will be able to fit us better i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain okay all right let's get started on round three what you're gonna do is slip stitch into the very first v stitch right here and then chain six as usual place one double crochet in the same space okay chain three remember no more increases for this round so we are not going to work into these spaces we are only going to work into the stitches so place one double crochet in the first stitch chain three place one double crochet in the next stitch okay repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to the last stitch before the next v stitch when you've gotten to the last stitch just before your stitch marker you're going to chain three and place a v stitch in the previous v stitch so right here where you have your stitch marker place one double crochet chain three and one more double crochet there we go remember to put your stitch marker back here so next up chain three place one double crochet in the next stitch chain three place one double crochet in the next stitch repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to the last stitch before your v stitch after you've gotten to your last stitch just before the v stitch chain three place a v stitch in the previous v stitch so right here place one double crochet chain three one double crochet and then again repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until the last stitch before your next v stitch after you've gotten to your last stitch before the next v stitch chain three and place a v stitch in the previous v stitch so double crochet chain three double crochet in that same space there we go and then chain three double crochet in the next stitch repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to the last stitch here i am in my last stitch now to finish up the round you're going to chain three and make a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain six 
so at this point i am going to stop here all right my loves at this point all you have to do for row four is repeat row two which is adding one double crochet stitch in the space after the v-stitch and in the space just before the v-stitch okay then you work your double crochet in the stitches when you get to the next v-stitch place a double crochet before the v-stitch in the space and also one double crochet in the space after the v-stitch then for row five you are going to repeat row three row six repeat row two row seven repeat row mm, three okay so you are going to alternate row two and row three continuously until when you measure from here down for a size small i am going to stop at seven inches okay for an extra small you could stop at six or six point five for a medium eight or eight point five for a large nine or nine point five depending on how tight or free you want your shrug to be okay so go ahead and alternate those two rows and i'll be back all right my loves i am done with my rows i have about 13 rows here and it measures when i measure from here down it measures about 7 inches to 7.5 okay so now what we are going to do next is connect the this point together in order to work the arms all right so going back to where you stopped which is here all right my loves to work your first armhole you are going to insert your hook where you stopped and then make a slip stitch into that first um, space into the first V stitch space right here okay and then chain three one two three now moving towards your right hand side you are going to locate the next stitch marker so which is here and then join them together bring it together like this and what you are going to do is make a slip stitch into that space that has the stitch marker so this is the wrong side of your work you're not going to slip stitch through the wrong side you will turn to the right side and make a slip stitch into that space so make a slip stitch into that space to join and there you go so now we have our first armhole formed to get started on round one of the first armhole chain six this is the v stitch that we had made and we slip stitched in so this stitch is still part of the v stitch you're not going to work any stitch here you will go to the next stitch and work a double crochet like so okay then chain three place a double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way around until you get to this last stitch before the v stitch okay so this is a v stitch that we had slip stitched in you will stop here just before the v stitch after working your double crochet in the last stitch you are going to chain three and then work a double crochet in that v stitch okay in the space right here place a double crochet and then chain three and place a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain six so one two three place a slip stitch right there and round one of the first armhole is done to start off round two chain six one two three 
four, five, six. And then place one double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. Place one double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. Place one double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch, chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way around until you get to your last stitch. All right, my loves, when you get to your last stitch, you're going to chain three and slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain six. One, two, three. Make a slip stitch. All right, that's about it. All you have to do from here is repeat round two of the armhole continuously until you get to your desired sleeve length, okay? For me, I worked 33 rows. So go ahead and do that. And when you are done, I will show you how to connect for the second armhole, all right? This is my first sleeve. I am not going to complete it during the course of this video, okay? I will do that later. So now, in order to work the second sleeves, you are going to lay your work like this with the first sleeves on your left-hand side. And then, locate this V-stitch right here. Place, um, attach your yarn in it. After attaching your yarn, chain three. One, two, three. And then bring the other V-stitch that you marked this one and we are going to connect by slip stitching but remember we are not connecting from the wrong side this is the wrong side turn to the front the right side okay and make a slip stitch into that v stitch and then take out your stitch marker so now we have formed our second sleeves to start off round one of the second sleeve chain six And then place one double crochet in this next stitch not this one this is part of the V stitch so place one double crochet right here then chain three place one double crochet in the next double crochet stitch chain three Place one double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch, chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way around until you get to this last stitch. Mm, sorry, until you get to this last stitch before this V stitch, okay? The last stitch before the V stitch that the chain three is connected to. All right, my loves, I have worked my stitches around and here I am in the last stitch before the V-stitch. When you get here, chain three. And then place one double crochet in that V-stitch. And then chain three. And make a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain six. For round two, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. Double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way around until you get to your last stitch when you get to your last stitch you are going to chain three and make a make a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain six and at this point you already know what to do all you have to do is repeat round two continuously until you get to the same number of rows that you had for your first sleeve okay and then you chain one and fasten off all right 
and then we are going to work just one more row for the aging okay all right my loves i am going to work one more row around the aging okay it's not really necessary but i choose to do that okay so in order to do that you are going to attach yarn in this very v-stitch right here locate your v-stitch on your right hand side so this is my v-stitch this is where i had attached the chain three to join to form the armhole okay so this is the v-stitch i am going to attach my yarn in that v-stitch next up we are going to chain six one two three four five six and then we are going to skip this double crochet this double crochet is part of the v-stitch okay skip this one and place one double crochet in the next stitch so place one double crochet right here then chain three double crochet in the next stitch repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to the last stitch before your next v stitch okay so these are the v stitches you're going to stop here before the next v stitch i have worked all my stitches and here i am in the last stitch before the next v stitch okay so we are going to chain three and place one double crochet in that v stitch so place one double crochet in the space and then chain three okay this is the chain three that we had made to connect for the armhole we are going to skip that and place one double crochet in the next v stitch so these are the v stitches place one double crochet right in the space And then chain three skip this double crochet as it is part of the V stitch place one double crochet in the next stitch then repeat chain three double crochet in the next stitch chain three double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until you get to the last stitch before the next V stitch when you get to the last stitch before the v stitch you're going to chain three and place one double crochet in the v stitch and then chain three and slip stitch in the beginning chain six to join one two three make a slip stitch then chain one and fasten off all right my loves we are done with our shrug thank you for watching i will see you in my next tutorial bye